How quick and easy is it to get started with the sending APIs using Docker? Let's find out. To save a little time in this demonstration, I already have a Postgres database created for sending to use and the Docker images already downloaded. The first step in using any of the sending Docker containers is to create the sending engine configuration JSON and export it as an environment variable. This is what the configuration looks like. The format is the same when using any of the sensing based Docker images. The only part to modify is the connection string for the database. With the engine configuration defined, there is a one time initialization of the database to add the sensing schema and a default configuration. This is achieved by running a Postgres initialization container. At this point, it is possible to load data or run any of the sensing tools, so let's do that. Before loading some sampled data, the sensing configuration needs modifying using the sensing tools container. Using the configuration tool, I'm adding three new data sources used by the data that will be loaded. Think of data sources as labels used to identify the provenance of records loaded into sensing. Next, download the sampled data to load. and now load the three source files. That's it. The three sample data files have been loaded and entity resolved. And using the sensing tools container again, I can start exploring the outcomes of entity resolution. Hopefully you'll agree. Getting started with sensing using Docker is quick and easy. To learn more about further exploring the results and loading your own data, check out the links in the video description. And if you need any help or have any questions, contact us at support at sensing.com for free support.